Good evening. The DuPage County coroner telling us that an autopsy will be performed tomorrow on the male victim, his age and identity being withheld at this hour as those who knew the victim lament their loss. So my heart goes out to that. Unemotional Teresa Dwyer remembering the victim, a father of two with another on the way, she says. Very proud. Happy to have the children and the one on the way. Skycam 9 capturing the aftermath. Eight to nine shell casings, maybe more, scattered across the pavement and deck behind Rosie O'Reilly's pub. This could happen anywhere, any time for the, the smallest of reasons, and this is a prime example. John Dwyer still struggling to understand how it happened. I, I don't know. We don't know. Witnesses describing what seemed like an argument inside Rosie O'Reilly's pub this morning, just after 8.30 this morning, before two individuals and the victim, according to witnesses, decided to take it outside. One person went out to get this gun. But cell phone video we viewed capturing a perplexing scene, the victim and another man seemingly horsing around on the outside deck, at one point even dancing together as if there was music playing. And then the guy who went to get his gun shot two shots in the air and... Moments later, according to witnesses, a gunshot striking the victim on the forehead, a gunshot wound that would prove to be fatal, but the two men who were outside with the victim, including the individual who fired the weapon, didn't try to flee the scene, witnesses say, as pub patrons called 911. They just stayed right there. The DuPage County Sheriff's Office being extremely tight-lipped about their investigation. In unincorporated Wheaton, Julian Cruz, WGN News.